All right, hey guys, today we're gonna to be installing the KC Highlights Cyclone LED Universal Underhood Lighting Kit in my 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you hit the notification bell, and as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, let's do it. All right, real quick, let's take a look at what actually comes in our package. And we have some simple universal instructions from KC Highlights. We have a really cool KC Highlights sticker, of course. Got to have that. Uh, we have some real nice split loom, which will just be used for cleaning things up. And then a handful of zip ties to secure all that. All right, then we have some simple mounting hardware. It consists of these three screws and three washers. This is our switch mounting bracket. See how that's gonna work. And then we have our two lights. You can see that the screw with washer just goes through the middle and then that's how we're gonna secure that to our hood. It has a couple of little wires coming out with our positive and negative connectors. Uh, along with that, we have our positive connector. It has a single three amp fuse in it. And then we have our on off toggle switch which will be mounted right into there, right? And then on the end, it has our two positive connectors. Also, we have our negative terminal connector, and then that has the two corresponding negative connectors. All right, let's get installed. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is figure out exactly where I want my lights. And I was kind of thinking maybe here, but I think right here would be the best spot and then i can feed the wires back up into the kind of the subframe of the hood so it'll look like that and then feed it all the way across and then down to my battery all right so there aren't many common points to measure from in this hood but i'm just going to use my square to the point where the little footman loop is i'm going to measure just to the six inch point on each side And I'm gonna tell you, this isn't gonna be exact. I'm gonna kind of be eyeballing it. And then what I'm gonna do is measure down about one inch. And that's gonna pretty much be our point. Okay. And when I'm satisfied, Gonna make a little mark. Like I said, this isn't gonna be exact. I'm just gonna pretty much be eyeballing it. And then we're gonna take our punch. Okay. And then the instructions call for a one eighth inch drill bit. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And you can see that I put some tape around the shaft of the drill bit and I've kind of eyeballed it and I know that this drill bit can't go through and uh, punch into my hood, which will create a little divot. All right, and then very carefully, beautiful. All right, now we're just going to loosely install our light. I'm not gonna tighten these down all the way until I get the wiring in place and have it exactly how I want. And then you can see I'm just gonna run those back up under there. All right, so the next thing we need to do is figure out where we're gonna put our little mounting plate for our toggle switch. And you can see that it has this little length of wire that we need to run back to our positive battery terminal. 
So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put it right about there so it's nice and close towards the front of the engine bay. So I'm going to drill a hole right about here. So what I need to do is remove my air filter real quick and drill another 1 8 inch hole. All right, and then if I sink my drill bit as far into the chuck as I can get it to go, I have just enough room fast. All right, and then with our bracket, you can see we have our third screw and washer. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get that lined up. Just going to screw it in nice and hand tight. Okay. All right, now that we have our switch mounting point securely in place, we're going to take our toggle switch and you'll see this simple rubber dust cover just unscrews and it has a threaded metal piece on the inside. We're going to undo this nut. Okay. And then our on off plate and come from the bottom. And this is keyed so there's only one way it can go on. And put our nut back in place over the top to secure. And then we're going to use a simple 15 millimeter sock and just hand tighten it down. Once that's in place, we'll take our rubber dust cover. Okay, and then for wiring the lights off, we're going to make sure to leave this in the off position. See, it's nice and secure. All right now, so for routing my wiring, I don't know if all JK hoods are the same, but I have this perfectly placed hole right here. So I'm gonna start by routing my positive wire up this way. And you'll see I can just pull it straight out. And then I'll be able to do the same for my negative. And I'm just gonna feed these wires up through here. Perfect. I want to make sure that I have enough play in the wiring so that when I open and close my hood there's not going to be any tension or pulling on it. All right. All right, so here you can see that our positive ring connector has plenty of length to get to our positive terminal. And then our negative connector has plenty of length with the hood opening and closing to get to our negative terminal. Okay, since I have all my wires run through, I'm gonna isolate the two shorter positive and negatives, which will be these guys right here. And then what I think I'm gonna do is run these just to right there. So what I need to do is, all right, run that out through there. It's the same with my negative. And then what I'm gonna do is take a piece of electrical tape and this long white zip tie, okay, I'm gonna Tape these guys together real quick. All right? And then I'm gonna add just the end of this zip tie. And I'm gonna start praying this works. I could probably use something better, but 
The zip tie was the only thing that I had within arm's reach, so I think it'll do just fine. And then wrap that a couple times. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure I can feed this guy. Ha <laughs> yes. Little yank. Perfect. All right, when a plan comes together. Okay, and then we'll continue to fish that through. And then all the way down to this end. Oh, beautiful. Right on. That was not as bad as I thought. Okay, now that we have our short and our long wires run, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in our connectors. And there'll be a little slight click into place. Make sure that those are nice and snug. There are waterproof connectors over top. All right, those guys are good. We'll click. All right. Okay, now that we have everything wired up, we're gonna pull our excess wiring back through the hood. I would have liked to have been able to run the split loom over all of this, but you can see that where our connectors are, We've run our excess back through, but there's this little divot right here that we can't run the split loom through, and this is a part of the Jeep's crumple zones for the hood. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the excess wire back and just kind of let it be. And pull that excess in. And overall, it's pretty clean. All right, so you can see the only real problem with this being a universal kit is that at the end of the day, I have all this extra wiring left over because it's made to reach to many different lengths and many different hoods. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some split loom over my negative end and then you can see I've already put over my positive end just to kind of feel it out. And then I'm gonna run these both into here and then I'm just gonna kind of uh, neatly wrap these together and then zip tie it up and just kind of tuck it back here in this corner. And I think it'll look really good. Do, 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 do. All right. That will look really nice right there. And then we'll run this guy up into there. Yeah, it'll look pretty clean. That'll go to there. All right, not bad. All right, that's not perfect, but it will do. I'm pretty much just gonna one of those handy zip ties around all this. All right, it's not the prettiest, but maybe later I'll come back and actually shorten up the lengths of wire so that it's a much, much cleaner. But for now, that's gonna be my ugly quick fix. I don't really want to deal with all that today. Then I'll just tuck it down. All right. So you can see I had these two existing holes in the hood, so I just ran a zip tie through, and then that's just helping secure these wires in place just a little bit. All right. And then I'm pretty much going to do the same thing here. I had this little existing hole in the hood, so I'm just making sure that those are in place. 
All right. Okay, and now I'm gonna do my final tightening down of the lights. Not too tight though. You don't wanna strip out that hole that that screws in. You can see it's pretty darn secure. All right, let's connect our ring terminals onto our battery now. And like I said before, make sure that the switch is in the off position. Um, the only reason why I used this top post on the Genesis system was because the rings that they include on the wiring are so large, it just wouldn't have been a great fit with one of these smaller posts. Now, I might switch that out later, but just for now, that, that'll work. Okay, our lights are secured in place, our connectors are secure, we have our positive and our negative hooked up. Now it's the moment of truth. All right, let's see if this works. I haven't checked it out yet, so. Yes, all right, right on. Wow, those things are pretty darn bright. Man, those things are gonna be great. Heck yeah, I love it. Wow, those are actually really bright. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but these things are super, super bright. I hope I never have a breakdown at night where I'm gonna need them, honestly, but if I do, they're gonna work out great. Sweet. All right, uh, now I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit darker out, and then we're gonna take a better look at how these actually illuminate or light up the engine bay. All right, right on, guys. Okay, and just as a reference, you can see that we have our toggle switch mounted right there. And you can see I put the split loom over the wiring. I zip tied it off to my AFE intake right there. Here we have our 3 amp fuses kind of sitting there. Um, you can see where the split loom branches off. I put a little bit of electrical tape around there. And then it goes to our terminal. And then around the back right here. And then our negative just goes right there, all right? Beautiful. All right, guys, well, it's a little bit later now, so let's take a look at how well our KC Cyclones work underneath the hood. Oh yeah, that's great. Well, I don't know if it shows up as well on video as it does here, but these lights are just super, super bright. I have a great view of everything. Like I said before, I hope I never actually find myself stranded in the dark needing these lights to work on the Jeep, but if I do, uh, rest assured they'll be there. All right. Like I said, I'm just super pleased with these. They're just crazy bright for how small they are. Yeah, the switch works flawlessly. It's a super easy, clean install. Yeah, I'm super pleased. All right, guys. Well, like I always say, if you found this video useful, which I hope you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get updates all my, about all my new content. And as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, you guys take it easy.